back everyone. Uh, most of you guys saw my battle hook review that I did in the past and basically I mentioned how I really like it. I like the ability to manipulate the slide if you have a malfunction. Um, I like the serrations on it. I like the longer sight radius. Pretty much everything about it. But a lot of you guys said that you wanted night sights. Well, they went ahead and did it. So if you take a look there, you'll see there are a night sight option. This one's three dot. They also have done some other stuff we'll get into later on in the review. But your answers, uh, or your requests have been answered, I should say. So I'll keep shooting it and then get into what I think about these night sights coming up next, guys. In addition to their night sights, they've also come up with a fiber optic sight. I'll kind of zoom in there so you guys can see it. One thing that's very different about this fiber optic sight is that if you take a look there at the top, you'll see it's shielded. So that way uh, it protects the actual fiber optic itself, which is a little different than a lot of the other fiber optic uh, offerings out there on the market, but we'll get into that as well as those night sights you saw earlier coming up next when we step inside. Time to take a look at these sights here in a little bit more detail. Taking a look at them from uh, the top to the bottom, you'll notice here that the fiber optic sight is up top. That's the front sight there, and there's a different width between that and the night sight. That's just because I have kind of a broad sample here. Um, they do make different widths in terms of front sight and um, rear sight as well. I believe I have a 1.8 our correction 0 0.180 inch rear sight as well as a 0 0.150 inch rear sight. So it really kind of just depends on what you want, what kind of sight picture you prefer, but those options are out there for you. Another, uh, I guess, detail, if you will, on these sights is that the serrations are on the rear of the sight as well as on the front of the sight to allow for a reduction in glare if you're looking at them on a uh, sunny day and that is both on the uh, night sights as we see here as well as the fiber optic sight now it has battle hook over here on the uh, right side of the pistol as you sh as you're uh, holding it and it does have the tritium inserts with the white outline as well to make them a little bit easier to pick up in the day as well as at night all in all, I really like these sights. You guys that watch the channel religiously, you guys know that I do like the ability to manipulate the slide with one hand, as we've discussed in previous videos, for emergency type situations, especially on defensive guns. And uh, the fit and finish on these is great. It has all the features you look for, serrations to block the glare, um, good finish that will hold up. And, um, I mean, they're really their quality product that gives you a lot of options out there with the different sizes as well. And they fit all the different Glock pistols, so both the 40 cal, 10 millimeter, as well as the standard 9, 40, 357 SIG guns. It'll fit them all. And uh, these are available at uh, Lone Wolf Distributors. As far as I know, has the widest selection of them. Uh, Brownells carries them as well, as does Dillon Precision. So if you mainstream sites here in the States, as well as if you're overseas, take a look at Battlehook's website, which I'll post a link below. Um, and the uh, Henning, Henning Shoots, I believe, is another one, um, all run by the same folks over there at the Henning shop. So um, a lot of different places to get them, so I'll put a few links below so you guys can check that out. But they're a good site, a uh, good quality site. The prices are going to be on some of the high end because they're a high end product, um, both for defensive and competition use, I believe. The, depending on what options you want, it run anywhere from, re these are retail prices, you may find them cheaper out there, uh, so just for retail, uh, I think like $115, up to $140, somewhere in that range, so that's for the set. Um, so a little bit on the higher end for sites, but in my opinion, they're a quality site. If you guys have any questions about this product, anything else I review here on the channel, you can also feel free to post below in the comments section. Uh, you can also post over at my Facebook page as always if you don't have a YouTube account. If you don't have a YouTube account, get one and subscribe to the channel. Uh, so you don't miss any of the future videos. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video.